So let's start with this very confusing question. How many groups of two make four groups of four? Well, let's start by thinking about four groups of four. There's one group of four, there's another, there's another, and now we have four groups of four counters. So we have 16 counters altogether, and that's because 4 times 4 is 16. So we can think of multiplication as grouping, because 4 groups of 4 make 16. We could also look at the array we have here in a different way. We can show that 16 divided by 4 is 4, because if you make groups of 4 from 16 counters, like we have here, you can make 4 groups. But we haven't answered the question yet, because we need to know how many groups of 2 we can make from 4 groups of 4. So how many groups of 2 can we make from 16? Well, let's move our counters around, so that instead of putting them in groups of 4, we have 2 counters next to each other. So we have our counters in groups of 2. So how many groups of 2 have we made? Well, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 groups. So we can answer our question, 8 groups of 2 make 4 groups of 4. So we still have 16 counters, but now we've rearranged them into 8 groups of 2. So you could write what we can see in our array now as 8 times 2. And what we really worked out here is that 16 divided by 2 is 8, because if you make groups of 2 from 16 counters, you can make 8 groups. Pause the video and see if you can work out the answer to this one. How many groups of 4 make 8 groups of 5? Well, let's start by making 8 groups of 5. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 groups of 5 counters. And how many counters do we have? Well, we can count them in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and 40. So we have shown here that 8 times 5 is 40, because here we have 8 groups of 5 counters. We have also shown with this array that 40 divided by 5 is 8, because if you make groups of 5 from 40 counters, like we have here, you can make 8 groups. But we haven't answered our question yet. All we know is that with 8 groups of 5, we have 40 counters. But how many groups of 4 can we make from those 40 counters? Well, let's move our counters around, so that instead of putting them in groups of 5, we have 4 counters next to each other, so we have our counters in groups of 4. So how many groups of 4 do we have? We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 groups, so we can answer our question. 10 groups of 4 make 8 groups of 5. So we still have 40 counters, but we've now rearranged them into 10 groups of 4. So what we've really done is divided our counters into groups of 4. So what is our division fact? We can say that 40 divided by 4 is 10. Because if you make groups of 4 from 40 counters, like we have here, you can make 10 groups.